this this is this is money i will make my money back welcome to storage wars with the dave hester i bought three pallets cost me a little bit more money I even spent 75 dollars on one pallet i know shocking right i'm excited to see what we have in store for us as we do some unboxing so join me for this pallet auction storage auction day you never know what you're going to find So I ended up buying three pallets. One pallet cost me $10, one pallet cost me $50, and another pallet cost me $75. So I've spent a little more than my $25. I'll probably have a few videos uh, going through. Definitely can't do all three pallets in one video, but I'm excited. I spent a little more of this as at a new facility with the Dave Hester from Storage Wars. So I'm excited to go through them. We first have to load, hopefully it all fits in Taco's van or else we're gonna have a problem. So wish us luck with that. But yeah, stay tuned as we go through and do some unboxing and see what surprises we have in store. So if you are, are new, what's kind of nice about these pallet auctions is that you can actually take a peek at the boxes that are on top of the pallets. It's good because then you can kind of see what you're bidding on, but at the same time, it allows everyone else to see what you're bidding on. <laughs> And you can probably be dissuaded to buy what could be a good palette because the stuff on the top is garbage. So this is the palette. I spent $50 on this one, but I'm gonna be intermixing the two or three palettes that I purchased. But this one I did peek. Well, I didn't look in the top box until I had bought it. And if this is the one I think it is, get ready. <laughs> uh, let's open this. So. It doesn't look like much, I know, but this is actually some kind of fancy designer lingerie. I looked up the person, they're legit, they're fashion designer in the United States. And yeah, so I might be in the lingerie business if the rest of the, the palette is like this, but fancy, fancy, fancy. So we got that guy, let's see. This box says Lanvin Paris. Now I still still wear clothes from high school and college, so I'm not really knowledgeable about designer stuff. Looks like we have, oh, that's, wow, that's nice. It's a dress with the cutouts on the side. Um, the label, size two season fall winter 2007 issue one of 24 so does that mean only 24 were made i don't know but i think i'm gonna have to learn quick about fashion industry if we have some nice hangers some slips are these vintage if this is a legitimate vintage slip, then this can go for, I mean, those that dress in vintage clothing, no, this one isn't. Um, they love the vintage slips. This is, this garment is designed in style by La Perla in Italy. Most likely more expensive than any, any piece of clothing that I own. Studio La Perla. That's a nice robe. Oh, we got a nice scarf. This, I mean, money-wise, this could end up being one of the best palettes I've, I've ever bought. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is a bra. This is a bathing suit. I mean, this is high fashion. Now, I would never wear this, but... <sighs> There's more clothes. Wow. I, I think, I think I'm in the money with this one. I really do. <laughs> All right, the next box. Taco Sex says I look like I'm more fun in this hat, but I kind of like it. I mean, with the glasses, it might not work, but it has the flaps. This one's a keeper. I found this in the one box. So, looks like we got more hangers. This bathrobe, ooh, that looks like maybe designer fabric. I'm really excited about this. 
Well, that's not that, but. Wow, this is soft. It's probably the softest robe. It's matters of leisure. Number one, the townhouse robe. Made in USA. Honestly, how, how many garments do you find now that are made in the United States? Now, was this something that they took from, let's just look it up. You know, we're gonna, enough chit chat. Matters of Leisure, if I could spell right. Matters of Leisure robe. Nothing even comes up on eBay, nothing. I mean, you know, maybe this is more of like a Poshmark or Macari, nothing. Nothing comes up. Poshmark, Mercari, I don't know, but that is soft. That's all I can tell you. Oh, I guess we got into the linen section. <laughs> maybe this is the bathroom area. Oh gosh, oh, I did see this. Someone poked a hole. <gasps> These are soft. Someone poked a hole in the side of the box and there were all these towels. But let me tell you, these sheets feel soft. These like silk, these gotta be silk. Cause I, these are sheets that I can't afford. <laughs> pillowcases I can't afford. I go to Kohl's and I get my pillowcases. Oh, it's 100% cotton, what am I talking about? See, I told you I don't know anything. But then we have more hangers. They're really nice hangers. And then we have a bunch of towels. I mean, honestly, I would use these towels because these, it looks like it's from, the boxes are clean, the stuff's clean. You could also donate them to animal shelters. They always need them for the pups. But, oh, what's this? Oh, J. Crew stockings, footless tights, 1950 originally. Looks like we got some more. We have some fishnet stockings, anyone? <laughs> so we're stepping away from the clothing and we're going to this box. Now I did look, this is one of the boxes you could look in. I paid $10 for this box and then the box with it that had just framed family photos. The reason I bought this box, which I'm surprised no one else bid against me, but is because There's military stuff. Now, this box is very heavy. It looks a bit newer, but I mean, you have all of their military gear. This was manufactured in 2007, body armor. That's why it's so stinking heavy. Pouch canteen carrier. Oh my gosh. Now some of this you can resell online and others you can't. Uh, so you just have to be a bit careful. Um, so this is Interceptor Base Vest Outer Shell. Oh geez, this has gotta be a whole, oh that's not it. Oh, here's a ballistic panel right front. So yeah, this ten dollars. <laughs> this is the heavy guy. This is the back. This is the back. Yep. Oh, wow. So we got ourselves a bulletproof vest, folks. First time I ever found one of those in a unit. This was manufactured in 2005. Again, I have to. Is that this helmet? No way. Oh no, that's not a helmet. Oh my gosh, what is this? Just please don't let there be a gun in here. <laughs> Looks like it pops out, maybe some kind of like tent kind of thing. I don't wanna pop it out and then not be able to put it back in. We got your knee pads. There is a helmet. Wow. This has the marine symbol underneath. I wonder where it has been besides sitting in a storage unit for who knows how long or a storage pallet. Wow. We 
We got the other knee pads. This bag. Oh, what is it? We got their boots. A little too, little too big for me to wear. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. oh my, how do they carry this? Let's just give an appreciation for all the military, those in the military. I mean, to carry, to carry this on your, on your chest, that's, that's crazy. And for all that they do, with all that added weight, like that's, and then it looks like um, a cot, like a sleeping bag kind of thing, so I can feel the metal. I hope it's not going. Let's check. I'm sure it's not. No, those are the rods to put it up, so. Wow. Um, uh, something for graduation, so. <laughs> I like your approach. Now let's see your departure. But $10 for that, uh, a, a bulletproof vest helmet and pads and all that stuff for 10 bucks like just, man this is a crazy day this box is marked as miscellaneous base sub i don't know what that means the one side did say halloween and it says hanging lamp base maybe it has a retro hanging lamp inside Or none of that. Oh no! <laughs> we got ourselves a CD collection, a an Afghan with cat hair on it, Elvis Presley CD, the best of Simon and Garfunkel, Gordon and Lightfoot, Elton John. Oh my gosh, these are great. Essential something or other. Neil Diamond. Oh, and my car has a CD player. How can cars not have CD players anymore? Have a gold ghost soundtrack wow well i don't know about a lamp we got a singing snowman plush uh is this lennox a lennox ornament I have to look that guy up king's college choir nutcracker suite carols wow we got a granny afghan it actually is not bad just gotta wash it i guess set of 12 place cards acrylic place cards we got a brookstone whatever that is is that for wine we got a whole contraption well it definitely wasn't halloween in here Ooh, that's nice there's two of them it's um like a planter with some stones. Oh my god, magazines. And a coffee grinder. All right, we have another box. This is a tall box, which usually indicates that it's a wardrobe box, meaning to hold clothes. Now, I won't be able to show every box on here. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, what the heck? Well, this isn't holding clothes. We have um, mannequins. <laughs> Which side can I show? These are funky looking. The one's broke. Um, this one's not. The one is cracked. Oh wow, well, can, can you show some decency here? <laughs> I've, that's interesting. I don't know, how much do those run at the flea market? This one's broken. What's in here? Oh, I got myself a yoga mat. It has a whole nice carrying case. It's probably not cheap. Looks like there's a few of them in there. That's a really nice carrying case for a yoga mat. I don't think I need to do yoga after today though. Oh my gosh, what the heck? This thing. These are battered. Oh my gosh. This is a prof 
professional photo studio box. This is not cheap. It looks like they never use this. Wow. Have, have ox? Okay, we're gonna do this. I just wanna see the, the retail value on this. Watch, it's like 50 bucks. H A V O X light box. That can't be right. No. Here. What series is this? Because there's a whole, <laughs> a whole bunch of them. That's a shop, the HBP 40 series. Okay, I just need the price. We're going to add that to my cart. Ships from France. While the small light box is 91 pounds, or 91 euros, they don't use the pound anymore, 91 euros. I mean, that's gotta be over $100. But this is not the small one, wow. I guess I'll have some professional lighting from now on. There, there's my light crew. <laughs> Too excited to keep track of and count. Again, we have another wardrobe box. Whether or not we'll have more mannequins, Another lighting system, as long as I don't cut myself. Oh, wow. I don't know. Let me bring it so you can see. We have another mannequin. This one looks like a nicer one. Um, cutters. Are these patterns? Oh my gosh, they are. Wow. Holy moly. All right, let's get this lady out first. Oh, as I break her. Yeah. Oh, she's nice. Collapsible shoulder. I mean, these can't can't be cheap in the store. And a lot of people use these for displays in their windows if they have a shop, a, you know, a boutique shop, or they use them also in just their home decor. I mean, this is I'm. Granted, this isn't boxes of old photographs and the stands in the bottom. Boxes of old photographs and, and you know, but still, like this, this is, this, this is, this is muddy. I will make my money back, finally. We have a leather, well, that's leather there. So this is a hide, like a, uh, I wonder if it's like alpaca. No, that's nice. Man, this is nice. Wow. I'm, sh I'm shocked, awed, amazed. Whew. And the, yeah, oh, what's this? We also have some, well, they didn't, is this seaweed? Nori, it's seaweed. <laughs> That's a surprise, I found food. But yeah, these are all client orders and they're all the patterns. Can I sell these? Wow. The fabrics are in there. There's like two bags of them and there's something in the bottom. A uh, La Fuma Extreme Long Thermalite. This goes to, oh, extreme, 18 degrees Fahrenheit. This La Fuma. I don't know. I'm sure this ain't cheap. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. I have a box full of paper. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope that this way is okay for me to go through these boxes with you. Sometimes it's just easier to do it this way. Is there anything in here? Gotta be something good if they wrapped it all like this, right? What do we have? A blown glass Christmas tree. <laughs> hey, it's not ceramic Christmas tree, it's a blown glass one. Everything's wrapped in this guy. Oh. Designed and modeled by JT Jones. Fine bone china. Please don't be broken. Oh, we have a flower that's broken. And who knows what else could be broken the way that they... Oh wow, this is nice. 
This one says Hawaii. Looks like it's signed by a Dorothy. That's really nice. Unfortunately, at least it doesn't look like it's shipped or cracked. We'll have to look that guy up. Put that one aside. As I break it. As I break it. Measuring cup. Belique. It's Belique. I don't know much, but I know that Belique is a good name. I have a lot of looking up to do, a lot of research to do, and hopefully a lot of money to make. That's the bottom. There's a planter in here, so that's probably the base to it. Ooh. Another Balik. Balik, Ireland. Again. No, this could be five bucks. I have no idea, but to me, it's exciting. So this is the last box for today, but don't worry, there will be a part two because I have several other boxes to go through and I'm sure that you all want to see what is in those boxes. So let's see if we can end on a, on a high note. Let me get the clippers. Oh, what in the, what in the world do we got in? Oh my God, a Rugrats bag. We got gift boxes. Is there anything in here? Well, this definitely did not belong to the designer, I don't think. $3.45 for this Rugrats bag. This is vintage though, it's from JCPenney, 1998. Might have to look it up. What in the world? I have my gifts for, for Christmas already. I don't, what's in here? All right, let's see. These look like it's a frame. This looks like it's a frame. Words are hard after a while. Oh, those are personal photos, so we'll put those aside. Um, we have plastic empty clear boxes. Don't wanna cut myself. We have more fancy boxes for all your holiday needs. Oh my gosh, I'm in, I'm in bag heaven here. Oh, we have tags for um, presents. You don't, that, cheaper than the store. We got more handmade Christmas tree things. Let's see what we got in here. I think it's a tree. It is. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I think the bottom is all of these box. Is this a wine bottle? Decorative wine bottle, I bet. Oh my. They bedazzled it. There's a bat on the bottle. Hmm. But yeah, the bottom is filled with more of these empty boxes. There's a baseball. Babe Ruth. James Ang Angatooth. Jerry, Jen, Jen? Are you winking at me? I don't think this is, pro this is a professional baseball. <laughs> Not a Babe Ruth signed baseball. But look, we have more, I mean the bags. I, I honestly will never have to buy a Christmas bag again. Let's look at this. This will be the last guy. Oh, first, first I thought that was something else and a puff paint t-shirt oh gosh it's a, a glass oh his legs broken i hope i just didn't do that that was a glass ram we have piggy banks we have a glass oh it's a glass elephant Fun, a lennox a lennox glass elephant well we're gonna end on that guy his trunk is up so that means good luck and I think I've had really good luck with this $135 purchase. Probably the best monetary reselling pallets I've ever, I've ever bought uh, so far. And I still have plenty of boxes to go through. So be sure that you are subscribed so that when I go through those boxes, you'll be notified and we can see what other treasures I have found. Because this gives me hope. I can make money, pay some bills, Put some money aside to buy future pallets 
and maybe one day I'll find that a palette, that elusive palette of ephemera. But otherwise, we have all the the um, the textiles. We have the CDs. We have the uh, sewing mannequins, the clothing, the gift bags, the gift boxes, and all of the the crystal and the porcelain to go through. And then who knows what else could be in those other boxes. Well, I hope you enjoy this. I know I did. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you for the next palette unboxing here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.